WJZ Live Complete Team Coverage continues. Amy Yuncey has a look at how Harvey is now forcing you to pay more money at the pump. Amy. Well, Jonathan, a lot of the country's gasoline comes from the storm affected region. That's why Harvey is bad for business and for consumers here in Maryland. Incessant rain and catastrophic flooding. Tropical storm Harvey turning the streets of southeast Texas into rivers, more suitable for boats than cars. For the rest of the country where driving is possible, the storm will have another impact. The Gulf Coast region accounts for 15% of gasoline production, so Maryland may see a, a little bit of an uptick. In the lead up to the devastating storm, Texas oil refineries shut down operations. Experts say the decrease in supply may boost demand and cause a spike in fuel prices. Why do you think I came right now? <laughs> I wasn't going to wait until tomorrow. According to AAA Mid-Atlantic, Maryland gas prices took a dip last week and are not much higher than the same time last year. That may all change in Harvey's aftermath. Most people we spoke to say they're more worried about the people in Harvey's path than the prices here at the pump. The season's almost over, so I'm not too concerned about it. I'm more concerned about the poor people down there getting flooded than the refineries. I'm just hoping that the people that are living in that area are safe, and I hope that they get all the support they need from their local government and the government around them. A growing uncertainty as the powerful storm pummels a major metropolitan region that helps keep the entire country moving. Now, once those refineries assess the storm damage, they'll be able to better determine the gas prices. Reporting live, Amy Yancey, back to you, Jonathan. Amy, thanks so much. Here's what you need to know as Tropical Storm Harvey continues to linger over the Texas Gulf Coast tonight. The storm now downgraded to a tropical storm after making landfall as a Category 4 hurricane Friday night. So far, two people have been killed, but officials expect that number to rise. More than 300,000 people across southeast Texas are without power tonight. That number not including those inside of Houston. 3,000 state and federal National Guard members have now been activated.